Bonjour, mon prochain épisode est ici et massé. I think. <laughs> okay, I don't speak French. You've guessed it. I am here in Marseille, France, and I have taken a couple of days away here in this beautiful Airbnb to shoot some of Ilford's most popular, probably the most popular black and white role, it's HP5. I have never shot this film before and I am super excited to shoot it because from what I see, there is just, just beautiful, beautiful shots. And the more and more I'm shooting, the more I'm getting into black and white. So I've been very excited to, to shoot this and I thought, why don't you just pick an absolutely beautiful city to shoot it? So here I am. So I've got two rolls of HP5 with me and I'm not going to edit these. I'm not going to push or pull because I purely do not know how to do this kind of stuff. I will save that for a future video. Ilford is 400 ISO, which for today, looking outside now, is quite an overcast day. So I'm actually quite lucky. The, that that is the case. Yesterday when I arrived, it was absolute glorious sunshine, but it was still freezing. <sighs> I'm kind of glad it's an overcast day because I like miserable black and white shots. I feel like it reflects my personality a lot more than a beautiful sunny day. So that's it, come with me. Um, I'm gonna go and do some walking and exploring. How cool is my Airbnb? What? As you can tell, the weather has taken a turn for the worst. So this sucks. So this might turn my day a little bit weird, but I'm gonna see if I can get inside this thing behind me. Trying to make a decision on where to shoot the roof is really difficult. You see, there's a lot of lines, there's a lot of detail, and if I'm gonna lie, that'd be nice to have some color. Knowing this black and white completely changes what the hell I'm gonna shoot. I think this pattern's there. Screw it. Let's see what happens. Oh, actually, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. So, kind of been rained off, so uh, returned back to the apartment and thought I'd just relax for a bit and read. Yeah, I travelled light, so I only got one pair of pants and they're currently drying on me right now. I took a little stroll through Lepernia, which is like the old district, um, and it's just f beautiful. Hopefully tomorrow it's dry and I can return there because I think I'm just I'm just gonna go back and shoot pictures there because that's exactly what I want to shoot. If anyone's interested on what I'm reading, it's Matt Haig, The Midnight Library, which um, has been highly recommended to me by um, a lot of people, but mainly Sam Schiffman. I feel like she'll shout at me if I don't tell the world that she recommended that book for me. So 
so as you can tell it kind of stopped raining and I made myself up to this place which I'll just insert the name of it up here um, to try and catch it but unfortunately it closes at five o'clock and uh, I just got here as it's closing I managed to run up get one picture and then they were like nah you gotta go so it's like the highest point accessible point um, in Marseille and I got here via via a bus 60 if you want to know what the number of that bus was but oh steps there <laughs> silly sausage but yeah I'm actually losing the light and it's just starting to rain again, so I don't really know what I'm going to do. Um, probably going to finish this roll, do some night shoots, and um, then uh, see what tomorrow brings. So I've attempted to come here in the evening and obviously it's closed, so I guess I'll come back again at another point. Nah. So the next morning I kind of took it easy, took it slow, cooked myself some breakfast and danced around like an idiot, but got prepared for the day. So it's the next day and unfortunately it's still raining, which is a very sad day. But I made it back to Palace Longchamp, which is where we are today. I don't know whether I'm pronouncing that right. Um, and it's open and it is actually beautiful. So let me take a picture. So I've actually changed my lens to a 28 millimeter lens. Um, I think I got bored of the 50, got the rest of this HP5 to, to run through, so let's see what I get up to today. I, I know I'm at a historic place right now, but I love lines. Screw it. Hey, if you want to take photographs, take photographs of whatever you want, not just what they tell you is cool. I'm switching back 
to my 50 millimeter because I just like my 50 mil better. Right, so it managed to stop raining for the last few hours, which is really nice. So I'm able to make it here, which is a place called La Pania, I think. And it's just beautiful in every aspect that you could possibly say. I think I say that about everywhere that I go. I'm pretty much gonna spend the rest of my day taking pictures here. And this is the kind of place that, that I like to sort of be in, despite it being a Tuesday and everything is closed. I, I don't care, there's the buildings, the architecture, the colors, which is a shame because I'm shooting black and white, but also at the same time, it is making me look at things completely differently and think about the final image, the composition more than, oh, look at all this graffiti, it's all the colors. So, it's okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, I guess that shot was ruined. I guess I'm gonna change roles. Huh? So, uh, je n'ai pas de français. Okay. Because I show him, uh, I t uh, because um, kids uh, nowadays, they don't know. They don't know. Ah oui, toi. Yeah. Tu vois, on mettait la pellicule. C'est du papier. C'est du papier photo avec un produit chimique dedans. Oh. Monsieur. That was cool. Get it over to. Oh, that's actually a beautiful shot, to be honest. Unfortunately, I don't speak French, which was a shame, but basically what that woman said was she wanted to show her son what analog photography was. He just watched me wind up the film and uh, his, his mum just kind of explained what it was. If I'm gonna be deadly honest, I don't think that kid even cared, so. I mean, it was a nice interaction. I mean, I think it was. I mean, like, for all I know, they could have just been making fun of me because I've been wearing the same outfit for the last three days. <sighs> I think I just got some pigeons while they were doing that as well. Sorry for putting you in a shop window. You don't deserve that. Get down low. I hope on this footage. I look like I'm having a poo. This place is just too beautiful. Every every angle. I need to roll it first. Every corner you turn, there is just some form of beauty in this place. I love it. Officially in love with La Pania.
So Ilford HP5 is incredibly versatile. I've used this film roll to shoot at night, which was incredibly easy reading the light meter on this Pentax K1000, which is very minimal. But also during the day, it's incredible. It's, I've not had the brightest of days, but there's still, it's just, there's so much flexibility on the ISO of this, so. So that's La Pania, and what an amazing little area in Marseille. I massively advise anyone who's visiting Marseille to come and visit La Pania because it's absolutely incredible. Anyway, I'm awkward and sat in an alleyway talking to myself and people here, so I'm gonna walk on by and um, go get some pizza. Au revoir. So yeah, thanks for watching my video in Marseille on HP5. Um, and I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed running around these places and taking pictures and trying to create something for you guys to watch. So all of the all of the Ilford HP5 is pretty much unedited. I've only just cropped a couple of things and resized them just ever so much for the video. And yeah, there's my experience with it and uh, let me know what you think. I'm gonna enjoy my last night here in Marseille because first thing tomorrow morning, I'm getting the train directly through to Paris. So fingers crossed there's gonna be another video from Paris. And who knows? They may even have a guest with me. That depends that if they, if they meet me and then they go, who the f is this guy? He's weird and then they go. And then I'll just make a video by myself. I just need to show up. Thank you.